So in the problem we're given, we're given an integer n, and it's said that n is equal to 9 plus 99 plus 999 plus 9999, all the way up to this huge number with 321 nines. And it's asking us, how do we find the sum of the digits of n? So we can start out just by trying to add this up, even though we know it's going to be, uh, it's not their solution, but we can try adding these numbers up. So let's see, 9, 99, that becomes 108. 108 plus 999 gives us 17, 10, 11, 0, 7. Let's try one more. Plus 9999. 16, 0, 1. So these are giving us really ugly numbers, and we can see that every time we're adding 9, we have to do a lot of work because nines aren't a clean number to add. There's a lot of carrying and whatever. Let's try not to think about this problem in terms of nines. Whenever we're adding things, we want to do it in the cleanest method possible. So we can rewrite these nines in terms of tens. So 10 minus one, this would be 10 squared minus one. This is 10 cubed minus one. Because tens are a cleaner number to add, right? They, they don't have any carrying or anything messy. So adding these numbers up, would be a lot easier than adding those nines up. So let's see how that works. We'll rewrite the problem in terms of tens. So 10 minus one plus 10 squared, 100 minus one, plus 10 cubed minus one, dot, 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 all the way up to 10 to 321 minus one. And the whole point of this is to make everything cleaner, right? So let's add we're going to ignore the ones for now. So when we add all these things, let's see what happens. We start out with a 10. Then when you add 10 squared, we put the one in front. 10 cubed, you're putting another one in front. 10 to the fourth, etc. Dot. And then there's a final one given by the 10 to the 321. So how many ones are there? Well, it's just going to be the number of powers of 10. So 321 ones that's legible. So now we can't disregard the ones. So we have to subtract all the things that we had in this problem here. So the ones here, one here, there's 321 of these ones. So we'll just subtract 321, giving us an equivalent expression to this. So let's remember what the problem is asking us. It's trying to find the sum of the digits of this number essentially. So it's just a bunch of ones, one, 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 zero, minus 321. And when we want to find the sum of the digits, we know that all the ones in front here don't really matter. They're just going to stay as ones. The final four digits, however, don't have the same story. So these ones will be canceled out by the 321, and they're going to change into some other number. So it's pretty easy to find out what that other number will be. It will just be 1110 minus 321, giving us 789. So what does this mean for our number? Uh, it just becomes this cancels out and we'll be replaced with 0789 because it's the final four digits. So our final answer will look like something with ones, a bunch of ones, then this 0789. How many of these ones are there though? That's what's key to getting this final answer. So originally we had 321 ones, but then three of them went away. It's the 111 here. Let me just clear this up. Remember, we had 1110. That was the thing that we canceled out. And those three ones went away. So we were left with 321 minus 3, or 318 ones. And then we have the 0789. So to find the sum of the digits of all those things, each of these ones will be added. So 318 plus 0 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 which gives us our final answer of 342.